All right, everyone, welcome back to some more Mountain Blade Warband. And today, guys, we are going to talk about factions, marriage, kingship, renown, and likeness. We're going to talk about how starting your new faction is going to go and how to accomplish that. So, we're just kind of chilling in here in this castle we just took over by ourselves, by the way. About 84 men. Uh, let's see. We'll poke our head out. We're waiting for the king to make his decision to whether or not we get the castle. Uh, we requested that it be ours. So, we're just kind of waiting for that to tick by. We're also defending the castle. Got a few men in there. What, uh, 54? And I think I have, like, yeah, 44 myself. It's pretty hairy. Um, we're at war with uh, this one faction right now, the Kirgits. And we took this castle. They were really vulnerable. They only had 91 men in there. I can't believe we took it so well, though. What do we got going on? Okay, we've got a fellow Nord. Jarl Eric. All right. So yeah, we're just waiting for the king to make his decision. Who do we got coming up here? Now let's let's go over and talk to him real quick. Maybe we can get him to babysit our castle. Uh, he's cooperative, okay. We'll not forget, good. Now he's 11, which is still cooperative, okay. And let's see. I mean, we could talk about this. Oh, he, res he supports me. Well, all right. Okay. Um, that's just beside the point, though. We're just trying to encourage that. I really don't want to get it, actually. I want the king to say that we can't have it, because when we requested it, then if he says we can't have it, we can rebuke him and his faction and possibly claim the castle as our own and break off into our own faction. So I'm kind of kind of just waiting to see which way it's going to go with that, so I can show you guys the the different options you're going to have when it comes to this point in the game when you're ready to start your own faction. So, let's see what else he's got here. Talk to something in private. No, let's, um, course of action. We want him to go to our castle, if possible. And it's not on the list. Wait. Here, let's go Let's go back up to the top. It's not this. Sengechi. It's not Sengechi. Yeah, okay, so it's not on the list. So we're pretty much done with him for the moment. I was hoping I could ask him to watch our castle real quick, but since he's patrolling around it, oh boy, we've got something going on over here. Let's see who's raiding this. Really not in the greatest shape to fight right now. We only have 44 men. They are mean ones, but all the same. Who do we got here? We've got another Nord. Okay, so. Ah, uh, we got a little party going on. All right. Starting to get a little congested here. A couple of Lords. Let's see if we can catch up to... All right, no. Okay, that's certain. That's ours. Let's, uh... Let's follow him for a minute, see, uh, see what they got in this castle. We'll just stay put right here. Ooh, 68, 24, got 171 men inside the castle other than those two lords. Nothing we can really do about it right now. But I was just curious to see what they had in there. Alright, so we'll go back to ours, wait for the king's decision on... Where, whether we get this castle or not, I'm actually, like I said, hoping he says no. We do have two castles already, guys, in our earlier progression of the game. No, it's so. Okay, let's see. We've. Okay, Rodox, Saren has made peace. A for them. Somebody's burning Berglin. It's already been. Okay. 
All right, so we're just gonna kinda, let's, I guess we'll go in the castle and we'll just kinda stay put here for a minute, guys. Wait for the announcement from the king. It could take a while, actually. So we also are just kind of defending it. And I guess we'll go into the topic of marriage uh, now, guys. So for... It works the same way with lords, kings, anybody you interact with that you can open up a dialogue with in this game has a likeness ratio with you. And depending on how positive or negative it is, you can influence them to make certain decisions... Okay, let's see. After consulting the peers, King Ragnar... Okay, so he gives it to us. So we have to accept it. So we, we do have another castle now. So there's a couple options we have here, guys. And the options are... Since he granted it to us, it is now our third castle now. It's our first one over kind of in this area because our other two... If we rotate the map here, and we go over. Our other two are Ismarla Castle and Albert Castle. And if I'm not pronouncing these exactly correct, um, you know. But these are the two that I think we were granted without really earning them. Like, we, were, we participated in the battle, but we did not uh, initiate the battle, I guess. And that's how you really claim your own castles, is you initiate the battle. And then, if he denies you the castle, you can rebuke him and his faction and try to take off with the castle uh, starting your own faction. So that is one of the methods. There'd be a, a particular dialogue to follow, guys. When we get to that point, for sure, we will uh, definitely, I'll, I'll show you how to go through it. Um, depending on how much the king and the faction you're serving likes you too, guys, he may not even, he might just let you have it and let you go on about your, about your way. Now, if it's on the other end and he gets mad about it, then yes, you could probably lose that castle immediately back to his faction through him just sieging you, you know, with an unmount, un unnumbered mount of uh, men, just ridiculous amount of men he may siege you with. So let's see what's happening over here. It's already looted. Okay. Um, this is our castle now. So the next step is going to be, uh, we're going to keep working on I guess sieging more castle. We'll, we'll look around for some more weak points. Let's see. Uh, that was not that weak. Let's we get a town. Where's it? We could check this one out. We should be getting another message from our lady that we've been seeing too. That is at Sargoth. Uh, we've built up about 16 or 17, 18 likeness with her. I think you want to be somewhere in the 20s. I think it's 24, maybe, is the magic number that lets you ask them for marriage, and then they will accept uh, anything other than that point. They'll kind of get offended about you asking them, and you'll lose a little bit of likeness. So you have to be careful at that point with the person that you're courting. Marriage is only important in the sense that it kind of gives you a, a good bit of renown for it. It's also a good sign of nobility. Two, no, two noble people coming together to form like their own kingdom, especially if you're striving for kingship. Alright, see what these guys got up here. They have a good little bit of men, a lot of horse archers. Other than that, not a lot of defense when it comes to archery. We, we're in no shape at all, though, to be attacking them. We shouldn't even be this far away from our castle. But, I to just kind of weigh our options. Do they own? No, okay. Vigors have that. We'll stop at Amir here, try to recruit a few men. Five, okay, we'll take it. And let's see, Iskuru. Try to grab a few guys there. Nice, four more. 
Uh, I think we can hold up to a now officially 85 at the point we're at. I think it's been about 200 days in game, guys, so it's not really a lot. The, the land's still kind of young, and I mean that in the sense that not a lot of the colors have changed. Oh, somebody's trying to assassinate me. Okay. Well, where are you guys at? Give me some direction here. Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, there you are. <clears throat> Bob and weave, y'all. <clears throat> you can't hit me. Now it's too late, sir. Should do those guys. Yep. Okay, carrying on here. Where were we? Did we get intact in Durham? Is that, is that right? All right. Capitals. It's uh, it's usually uh, castles. I thought maybe capitals. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, visit the tavern. See what we have in here for soldiers. Mercenary cavalry. All right. Eleven hundred for three e. Not for that price, though. All right, we'll carry on. We'll just recruit from these uh, towns around us. We just kind of want to build up our forces in the castle so nobody will be prompted to, uh, to siege it. Okay. Ooh, that was a big guy. He lost interest real quick, though. I don't know why. Where are you heading? Are you heading to my castle? You are Kiergate, too. Don't do it, man. All right. He's buggering off. Just going to kind of watch him there for a second. Yeah, he's going maybe to Berglin. Is this... No, it's still looted. Chide is being raided at the moment. Hmm. Maybe we should go assist Chide? What do we have here? Oh, goodness. <laughs> maybe we won't go assist Chide. That's a lot of men. And this guy already is on me. All right, Um, right. We'll head back. Uh, this could be bad. We might be bringing them back to our place, guys. Let's see. Don't want to lose this yet, because this is the one we officially earned. So, what do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? We got, um... Villagers. Oh, yeah, no. We're not. We're not going to be helping them. Uh, if it would have been one of our other lords, then maybe we would have had a chance to take them on. But I don't want the whole... <laughs> Whole, all the lords to just jump in on me. So we, we seem to be safe at the moment. Let's see what we have for uh, men real quick, guys. See if we can unload some. Yeah, like 20 recruits. There's five militia. And we just, we really just want a head count right now. So we're going to go in here. Manage our garrison real quick. And let's see, we're going to put some more and just because there's a lot of recruits here, we're just going to give them, all, give them all of them. And let's see what they have now. 69. We're, get, we're getting up there. We have a... Oh, man, they're raiding. All right. Let's see what's going on over here. Man, 
and see we're we're tanking on money because we have such high ranked guys and no real income. War is the income, and we kind of been fiddling around. All right, so he just broke off from there. We only have 49 men. We can't take on 101. I wouldn't attempt it anyways, guys, and especially this guy as well. Yeah, and, and he's at 100%. He's got a lot of... I, I wouldn't attempt it. Cure gates can be quite the hassle on the, on the battleground. Not so much sieging or defending castles, but on the battleground, they can be a pain in the butt to other factions, especially their AI and everything, and how they react when the Kyrgyz kind of battle in circles. So they'll just run in circles, shoot at you, a lot of arrows, and most factions, militaries, just don't know how to deal with it. It takes an actual player to be able to counter that. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. All right, we're going to try to run back to our... Pl okay. Serenids have declared war on the Kyrgyz. That's a good thing because maybe that will distract them off of us. We're trying to make a transitional state here, guys, where we start our own faction. It's just there's a process to it. So let's see. We're just going to wait here for some time, see what happens. Okay. Man. And we're just trying to preserve our castle without a... Uh, I guess the marshal had requested me to report to him. I did not get that message. Sorry, guy. Guess that's bad mark on him. So that means Olaf will dislike me a little more. He's one of the lords playing Marshall right now, which is fine, but I would recommend highly, guys, that you encourage likeness even out of the enemy faction's lords, because when you start your own faction, you're going to want them to be liking you so that they can come to your faction and strengthen it, because when you start taking over more and more territory, you're going to need those lords to kind of govern those areas, so, okay, time, 69 there, we could dump off just about everybody we have, get it up to a hundred is my goal, and then maybe nobody will want to mess with it, but getting out of here could be a tricky thing, we're kind of getting bombarded at the time. I think that's what we're going to do though, beef up our garrison just a little bit, let's see, what do we have a lot of, give them those guys. We'll give them those guys. Give them... Let's level these guys up to footmen, actually. And we give them those. Just want to tr <clears throat> try to get to 100. We're just going to start giving them a little bit of everything now. I'll leave me with my cavalry, and that's pretty much it. Oops. All right, let's see what they're at right now. 90. Not bad. Let's try 90. We'll keep the 28 that we have. Now our goal is to get out of here safely. And start recruiting some more men. So that we can move around safely, guys. So there's one. Uh, what direction we want to go in. Mention is they're all kind of burnt. We'll go actually in Nordland. Should be a safe area to recruit. Kind of our capital area, so. All right, we're getting spoon-fed a soldier or two at a time right now, but we'll we'll find the mother load eventually. Now, making the towns like you a little more, guys. You see, my rating for this town is seven, 
and the, the higher it is, it starts out with zero, of course, it can even go into the minuses, depending on whether you've rated that town in the past or not. Um, if it's your own town that you're governing over and you've neglected it by letting raiders come in and kind of just live there, you could get a negative rating and then they won't give you any recruits. So the, the higher your rating is, the more they like you, the more troops you'll get out of them every time you stop and see them. There's three more. See, we got Helbeggy here. So it seems to be kind of calm over in our actual territory. Oh, except Hines been, uh, let's go over here to Rizzi. Just Hines, just Hines been looted. It's kind of odd. Maybe we pushed him back out. All right, what do we have now? Uh, and let's see, also... Hmm, that's Rodox territory. We will. Rivulet's getting. Okay, it got looted. Iberia. Let's try I Iberian. Iberian. What have you? And we got 47 again already, so we're getting back up there. Okay. That does not concern me. Just kind of going on a re recruiting. Uh, Spree here. Check out Nomar. Nice. Good seven on that one. Ah, uh, we could pick up some Rodox, sure. Go to Sinandar here. Should not be at war with either of these factions bordering this area. Serenids in the in the road ox. Fifty eight, fifty nine. See what else we got. Chase. Kind of sounds like you're saying cheese. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Should we loop around the fet now? Uh oh, nope. Well, who's it being raided by, though? Let's check that out real quick. It's being raided by. Who's it being raided by? I don't know, but they're taking care of it, though. So we'll cut back around here, guys. We'll check our food supplies soon, probably. Been doing a lot of fast traveling. They're not going to give us anything. I think they already did, actually. Uh, it's looted, I guess. Might have had time enough now for them to build up a one or two more. Oh, yes, six more. Okay, that was a successful run. Let's see, Chide is still looted. What about Talburl? Talburl's good if we can get it on it maybe zoom in a little more there we go tanking on the money <laughs> need to fight so we can cash uh, stuff in all oh, okay and we are officially out of dough so let's go fight then shall we go down here to Kergi country See, our castle's still good. Let's see what we have here. We've got uh, Monteware just running around. Ooh, ooh, how many's in the castle? Nobody's running out at me yet. Oh man, that's such a big list, I can't see them all, but Mira's, uh, 
Monty wears in however many's in the castle. It doesn't look like a lot, actually. It looks very, uh, very vulnerable. Let's see, they have 80. And then there's probably another... 100, maybe? So less than 200? If I had another Lord with me, then maybe. Wouldn't mind catching Mono where running around out here, though. Do need to fight is the problem, and our morale's probably going to start dropping as well, so. Alright, they're hiding in there. I think that's all we can actually... We'll, we'll head back to here. See if we can chase somebody down. What do we got? Deserters, only 11. They're going to run. Well, let's bring the fight to them then. This is their actual territory that the Kyrgyz start in. So they've spread out, kind of scattered, but spread out. Oh man, we're out of food. <laughs> we'll head over to Serenid Country real quick and grab some food. I don't think we have any money though. We do have stuff to cash in, so that's good. That should grant us a good little bit of food money. Okay. That's, I really don't care for the actual live meat, like the pork and chicken, it expires, so. Just buy the dry meats, the breads, the vegetables. Okay, that's... Alright, just pay me whatever you can. Yep, it's fine. Um, and then we want to get out of here. And let's see. Let's see if we can find anybody over here, guys. What we might have to do, we might have to get a little dirty. And raid this town. That's already been looted, so won't be doing that. Let's see if anybody's home up here. There is 169 in there. That's way too much for us to bite off. All right, I think I've determined we're just gonna have to go to one of their towns. And it looks like it's gonna be this one. Oh, what do we got? Well, that's not good at all. <laughs> oh, should we? We are at a hundred percent. We basically only have a cavalry. Some archers. Well, we can make all these guys huntsmen. And we'll go ahead and move them up into archer territory here, yep. Make all eight of these crossbowmen. Maybe we're not in as bad shape as I thought. We'll go ahead and move those guys up. Matter of fact, one more. And okay, I think. I don't know. I think we're going to go for it. We've got a pretty tough army, so. Okay, fight to the end. Yes, sir. Let's go. And we're just going to hold back for a second, see what they're going to do. They're going to rush us, okay. Well, in that case, charge. And we'll rush them back. Close enough for our archers to be able to start doing some damage as well. And they got a lot of horsemen. <laughs> Taking, taking as many blows as I can. Disrupting their uh, lines, guys. You don't want Kyrgyz to start getting running around and everything with their their archery. Okay, line's pretty broken. Oh, you got to stand still, sir. There we go. Got a couple thuggas down here. I want to take my horse out, so... 
run off for a second. Be an interesting battle. They do outnumber us, basically two to one, so. Looks like we're getting the better. We got a long fight ahead of us. There we go. Go ahead and uncock thou as soon as I did, of course. There we go, you're done. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, I knew I'd miss you. Oh, hey. Good shot, whoever. Saved my butt as well. Let's see if we can catch up to this guy. Nah, he's gonna run for the border. No? Yeah, he did. Yeah, we pretty much dominated that one. Oh, can I get him? Ah. And he's done. Tight swatty and knights, guys. Love them. Hello. Making my rounds here. Oh, he blocked it. There we go. And he's done too. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hello, boys. You a Lancer? No, yeah. No, you're a dead Lancer now. Sorry about the camera angles if uh, they're getting weird, guys, but I'm just trying to torque it as much as I can on them on them because they're squirmy. Anyway. I don't know how much damage more my horse can take. Oh, yeah, that was a good side shot at least. That guy's attacking a tree. There we go. You're gonna have to go down, boys. Just go down. Battle's done. Okay. He's tough. <laughs> Taking a beating. There we go. Look at this guy. I am proud of my little level two horse here. Really am. It's been holding it up. Right, I'm not so sure as if we're winning now. Their second wave may have, yeah. May have been too much. Okay, you guys gotta let me. Jeez, dead. Okay. End result. Let's see what we got here. We had 34 dead. They had 92, so still pretty much a victory to me. We'll go ahead and bugger off here. They took us. Took us pretty hard. They they did outnumber us quite a bit, though. We should be able to outrun him. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and escape this whole area, actually. Here we go. There we go. He'll break away. That's fine. We live to fight another day. That is fine. Let's go back to Eskuru. Well, actually, a mirror, maybe, if it's not looted still. No, it isn't. Just start recruiting some more guys. At least we got our castle beefed up a little bit, guys. That's an important thing about all of that. And I guess, since we got awarded the castle, we'll stay with the faction for the time being until we're a little closer, ready for the marriage thing to kick in. And when we're ready for that, which should be pretty soon... I'll start working at it maybe even next episode. We'll go over everything, guys. Maybe even be ready to start our own faction so I can show you guys that. But I just wanted to cover a lot of material on it all. I know there's a lot of questions about this kind of thing. I struggled with it all myself when I first started. 
definitely a veteran and experienced at it now. And uh, if you want to come to me with questions, definitely leave me some questions in the comment section, and I will get back to you as quick as I possibly can. But with that, all that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mountain Blade War Band, and we'll be back soon with some more. Till then, take it easy.